Hi, this is Morley and this is The M-Wire. What I'm going to talk about today, folks, is Vladimir Zelensky addressing Congress directly over a number of issues with the war in Ukraine. Um, it started off basically with the pleasantries of him getting a standing ovation and him thanking the U.S. and, and all this. But he's essentially asking for more support and what he's asking for specifically in addition to the $14 billion that you, I, and the American government uh, gave in support for this war, is uh, more air support. Now, Brandon actually turned him down when he suggested that more MiG fighters come from Poland, because this would exacerbate things. And he's also asking, as you probably know, for basically a no-fly zone in, in Ukraine, which essentially means that if any Russian planes were in the air there, they would be shot down by anybody who happens to detect them, whether it be Poland or any other adjacent European country. Now that, without question in my mind, would certainly bring about World War III. Because the Russians would not take too kindly to NATO shooting down their planes specifically. On the subject of World War III, I just watched another clip of him suggesting that World War III has potentially already started. Now, at this particular junction of where we're at, basically day 21, so this war is three weeks old now, it seems to me like he's almost goading other countries to get involved, so World War III starts. Now, I know Ukraine has a long history of corruption, I mean, with the involvement of the Biden family, specifically Hunter, and of course, um, his ties to uh, George S., if you know who I'm talking about, if you don't, leave a comment and I'll tell you who George S. is. This is just not adding up. There, there are so many um, twists and turns and plot twists with this. Something just doesn't smell right about it. I mean, there's obviously a lot of news coming in with this, you know, on the daily, never mind on the daily, on the, on the hourly. I mean, I watched, you know, what I can see on the news and basically what I've been doing is comparing and contrasting how the mainstream is presenting this and then I'm going much deeper and looking at alternative news sources and seeing if they're basically corroborating the same thing, which they are to some degree, but obviously there's, there's lots of lies by omission. Now, I don't know who is even winning this war. I, I would love your comments as to who you think is actually winning this war. I mean, granted, Ukraine is fighting valiantly. That's very apparent. But, I mean, basically, Zelensky is now insinuating that Russia s should surrender. That is just not going to happen. I mean, I see the city of Maripol in Ukraine, and it is just completely bombed out. I mean, there's reports that Russian sh soldiers are essentially shooting Ukrainians in line for bread and stuff like that. I don't know if that's propaganda, but that's, that's the type of things that are being reported. But, I mean, this whole thing with Zelensky addressing Congress, basically ingratiating himself further as Europe's newest darling, I don't mean that flippantly, folks. I mean, war is terrible no matter where it's happening. My heart goes out to all the civilians on both sides of this war because they're the true casualties of the war. They have nothing to do with this. They don't make any of the decisions involved with this war. I liken the people that have either been wounded or killed kind of like um, children that are, you know, caught up in a, a parent's divorce. They have nothing to do with the divorce, yet they suffer the most. I mean, that's the best analogy I can draw in my mind. But this entire thing, folks, there's just there's just so much not right with this. I, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest with you. I'd love your comments, though, in the comment section as to what you think is really happening here. Like, is he trying to basically incite World War III? I, I don't know at this point. 
I I mean, who who does that? Who 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 wants to actually incite World War Three by by implying that it's it's kind of already happened? Like, I mean, I've even said it myself. Hey, I'm guilty of it, too, because like I say, if these two countries remain the only two countries directly involved, then okay, it's a regional war. But I mean, this has a very, very high probability of becoming World War III if a NATO country gets involved. Like, this is just absolutely terrible. What's happening there, like I say, is more so for the civilian's sake than the government's. But this is really confusing as to what's going on now. Like, is is he essentially grifting Congress to get more money? Is, is that what he's doing? I'm sure that's what he's doing in part. Why would he address Congress otherwise? Because he knows full well they're the people that essentially approve the the checks, if you if you know what I mean. But this whole thing is just absolutely mind boggling when you get right down to it and how this started and where we're at now. But I just wanted to come on here quickly and talk about it. Um, like I say, leave a comment in the comments below. I want to know where your thoughts are at. I'll have a conversation with you there about it. I don't mind doing that at all. As a matter of fact, I rather enjoy it. But uh, like I say, let me know what you think. And until the next video, God bless.